Okay, now let's have a conversation no? because you see this people in Nigeria uh, shine your eyes, house mate. Eh? Okay, all of a sudden, right now, they are all now seeming to change their mind towards parent. And I'm looking like, okay, where's the energy? We'll have to talk about that. And somebody wants to get mm, flowers for a lady in the house. Queen has so much anger, you get me, towards Boma. After Boma spoke, I changed my mind okay not change my mind particularly but i think that we need to readdress some things you get what i'm saying yeah my name is omi or dick and want to call this talk to your homie tv me i like to give very sweet and juicy juicy if you call me like this bad sweet juicy flow up and down honey i have a target to get to 50 case of kaiba before the end of september please do me a favor if you're watching me right now and you have not subscribed to my channel i want to just stop go and click subscribe button go and click it click it join the family we have fun here i'm telling you i real yeah have you done it thank you very much also give me thumbs up because thumbs up helps videos grow i'll appreciate it you get me now let's start just saying so big brother called the housemate so yeah come let's talk about what's been happening in the house give me gist and i'm going to tell you the ones that caught my attention do you understand the first person who came to talk was Tega, oh our darling Tega. Oh my, at some point Tega began to cry. You first of all, let me tell you what she said first. Eh? After yesterday, yeah, that she she just starts to feel this nerve, like like you know she's now nervous. She has, she's seeing this tension, and she doesn't know what it is, but that like, she has a tension. I'm like Tega, yeah, maybe you already. She, you know, when you when you know say you are doing something, you get me. Your body go begin to tell you, and and I'm guessing it was obviously after the whole fight. I mean, have I mean, a look at it now. Right now, Tega and Boma kind of feel like they're just secluded. They're literally on their own. The energy around them or the tension around them is thick, yeah. So she said suddenly that she's feeling this tension, you know, in her heart. She's not stable. She's just, you know, anxious. She's scared. It might be eviction scare, obviously, because maybe she thinks that she might go home or guilty conscience. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section what you think. And next, she said that, uh, that suddenly Queen is giving her um attitude that yeah, they start to become friends, yeah. But she doesn't know if Queen's friendship or connection towards her was fake. I'm looking at Tega like, how will you want why why do we all blame people in Nigeria? Like what all the world? Everybody wants to blame you. Maybe it's you, maybe it's Tega, you gossip about this queen girl with Boma almost all the time. So why don't you think it's you that is fake? Why do you think it is Queen that is fake? why but anyways that's me according to Tega, she feels like the connection she had with queen is fake from queen's side because or maybe she's the one forcing the friendship you know because all of a sudden queen them they won um, a task for close up here yeah? and after they won the task queen was happy getting up she was jumping and Tega tried to give a high five like yay but queen acted like she did not see her high five full ah, that she had to now call queen like ah queen i'm trying to give you a high five like what's up now can I say, oh, I, I had to say, oh, now nah, I gave her the high five that mm, she's cuckoo tega, we think consign them, and even Angel is giving her attitude. Do you get me? Like, and she said that mm, that Saturday that she will find out why Angel is giving her attitude. Do you understand? Then then I asked her about like her pet names, yeah, and she says to call different names, mostly in Akwai Bomb. I can't print, I can't even. I, I don't know a word in a quiet bomb. I'm not even going to try to give you the names here. But she said one that her mother calls her, one that her husband calls her. And next thing I knew, you know, Biggie says, You won't tell me anything. And Tega just holds a closer. Abby clamps her hand on her face and she begins to cry. And what she's crying, man. <laughs> ah, Biggie said, What's up now? She said that she, that, that she just remembers her mother. Hmm. I'm looking like, I mean, I. This is me just being inspector gadget, be being smart. I mean, not smart. I'm smart, yeah. But basically, I'm looking at Tega like, mm. is it not? Is it not funny that you just remember the pet name your husband used to call you and your mother used to call you? And all of a sudden, you're not crying and you're not missing your mother. I hope it's your mother you're missing, not your husband. Because if you ask me, that scenario kind of feels like she's just you just remembered. Oh my gosh, my husband, pet name, love, marriage. I'm married, oh, with a child, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the other doing movement. Oh my god, yes, yeah, that's a flu. I don't know if that was what happened, but I feel like that was what happened, yeah. But yeah, man, that's Tega. What do you have to say to Tega? <sighs> Talk, just talk, talk to Tega in the comment section, my darling. Let's move swiftly to Yusef. Yusef came and shared to us like his life before the house, and he was crazy, man. He searched for a job for three years, and he did not get a job. His life was so blank and bland, like there was no activity in his life. To the extent that one thousand naira was a lot of money, and just listening to Yusef made me remember like days when Mr. I was hustling and I was broke. Like that's why if I get like, every money I get right now, I'm just grateful to God because bra it was tough for me so just hearing you say i'm just like yeah and if it's tough for you watching me right now i beg 
you will get better just continue doing what you're doing yeah and keep looking for opportunities in future yeah so yusuf said that he even got crazy that he even had like family members like who were comfortable enough equipped enough to help him but they just did not help him that like, he, he starts to feel like maybe they enjoy to see him in that downcasted position do you get me so they did not even want to help him at all and i'm just like man maybe i need to start calling on my own cousins and stuff man let him not come and saying see oh me on tv oh i'm a cow devil <laughs> no something about yourself's diary session just made me just think about my life i don't know why but it did so yeah reach out to your cousins and your family members you never know you i i know everybody's trying to struggle to get better but that extra 1k 2k eh, can go a long way to your lives so, yeah take it from me after filming this video i'll call one of my cousins or even two or even more than two just to see what's up man how y'all doing important here yeah. and then you said them talk about Pere. you know that um Pere is one friend that he knows that is very real that Pere talks about how he wants that like, Pere wants he and yusuf to be friends outside the house and you can just sense the genuinity in or the genuineness yeah in Pere's voice and who Pere is a Pere is the kind of person who will never like steal your shine like if you're because Yusuf has that problem a lot because he's talking about it a lot, yeah. That you have housemates, yeah. If maybe you're saying something that's making you shine, they'll, they'll just come and change the topic to just take the glory from you or take the attention from you to themselves. You get me? But Pere is not like that at all. That Pere is one person who, like, he will allow you shine. If he wants to even, like, talk about his own successes, he will focus on himself and his group so he really likes Perry. and then they now called Sasuke Sasuke now said the same thing too that initially she, she, um, she thought Perry was just annoying and full of himself but now she's beginning to see another side to Perry. he's actually a nice person they actually talk right now and that in fact now they've talked way more than they've ever spoken from the beginning of the show and she's seen that he's actually nice you understand cross came and said the same thing to that suddenly that like, he cannot even lie he's getting close to Perry. time is going and he's just realizing that they're now getting closer and they're now becoming better friends and then j paul now came and said the same thing and i'm just like oh stop a little let's address this Perry thing because you see i remember at the beginning of the show when i was talking about Perry. People were coming to come and drag me. They were, they were literally dragging me. Oh, me. But I'm just looking like, see, he was just playing his game. It is a game. Whoever you think is the holiest and cleanest person, but the person is playing a game. People were saying in the comment section that uh, uh, maybe strike has calmed Perry down, eviction. Whatever calms you down, calms you down. But the point is that he was in a game and he had to change different strategies. The same way you would do and I would do if I go into that house and I realize that, okay, this this person seems to be acting smart. That person seems... You will change your own card. That doesn't mean that he's a bad person. You get me? And because it was after White Money's fight that, fight that people took it personal, yeah? But like, White Money is human and Perry is human. And guess what, man? Even in your life, you also go through like... You know encounters you and people clash does not mean that they are horrible no you guys just clashed do you understand so we judged Perry very hard general Perry, big ups to general Perry. that's why i just liked him because i felt like everybody was just kind of judging him too harsh like get to know him and you see in fact j paul even said that even as he was head of house he expected he and Perry to have clashes but they never had any clash at all that if he talks to Perry, Perry listens to him even when they're in the same group Perry, i'm just like yeah man it's not as bad as y'all are making him sound or feel and i hope anybody who watches this something will just at least give your mind another a chance to look at things differently that you like a particular housemate oh i love white money yes but don't now make everybody look like they're also oh, because you love white money nobody should insult him or fight him why he's a housemate there they would have to he has to enter clashes it's normal yeah next person cross talked about boma and cross is very like concerned about how boma sees him he's worried that boma kind of feels like cross like betrayed him because i mean the whole fight with angel it was cross cross angel boma and you said that we're dead together yeah and i mean if you watch the fight boma suddenly just started to just this angel and this angel and this angel and so cross is like boma kind of felt like cross should have had his back because they're guys but he's boma's guy the same way he's angel's guy and cross said that boma kind of feel like maybe because angel is a lady and maybe cross might be romantically attracted to her that's why he did not take sides and cross was like man that wasn't it that day and then he just felt like boma was wrong do you understand and biggie was like see man sometimes true loyalty means just saying the truth if you feel a certain way just say it and even though the person might 
argue and say oh no later they will think about it my mother calls it sowing seed say what you want to say even if they say no 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 hey when they go home they will think about it that's why me talk to your homie i say what i want to say when people say oh me just show us the videos don't baba talk to your homie is for me to pass my own opinion and my own mindset and you pass your own too and we'll learn that's why i encourage comment session talk because i'm literally there listening to what you have to say you get me yeah always say the truth my darling it's very important next person my darling queen oh my gosh guys queen just came and was just bombarding boma he does she doesn't like bobo madid right now her and angel they're, they're getting very close they're both from a bomb together queen wants to take angels a bomb because angel has never been to a bomb before Queen was like don't worry baby i got you come let's go you're my sister right now you get me but she just talked about boma how boma okra what rubbish okra boma made you feel like she threw herself on him on him and that wasn't the case and you know just at talking how okay now but let me just state something that queen keeps referring to because even though boma is looking like the black sheep right now but we watched it too you queen you wasn't like you were baby we saw you move towards boma and we i know i called queen out let me tell you what queen says queen says that before that you see that sunday that sunday that boma said that thing that's what's painting queen right now what happened according to queen oh, was that boma had come to come and tell her oh i didn't call i didn't pick you as my head of house partner because maria told me who to pick and that's jackie fine good now before the sunday eviction live show queen was me about to make indomie for white money and boma came and said please make indomie for me and queen made the both like made indomie for two of them while she was doing that white money was like ah uh -uh, hey queen oh, i asked you to make my indomie since i did not do it now that boma is there, you want to now to come and do it fast fast and boma was like ah, my white money you, you know is, is normal right now you get me we are two husband marrying the same wife oh, and queen was like ah uh -huh, yeah you know this is a polygamous thing but that was a joke so queen keeps hitting on that fact that oh but because boma said that thing just before the live eviction when the live eviction now came oh, ibuka now asked boma the question boma did not say queen boma now said angel see boma is allowed to pick who he wants to pick you know me i said the truth because i've heard you know i've been hearing queen say but that was a joke he was joking with you he never came and said that to you i love you i want to you know you never the same way she's she's saying that she never asked boma out it's the same way he never asked her out too so even though boma is bad right now because of this tega thing yeah but like queen calm down he was a joke he's allowed to take who he wants to take and when ibuka said queen he said that's an option too because that's really an option you're not his wife or you get me like you're really not man so i don't like how queen is just <laughs> baby it's okay we, we're all hating boomer right now even me so i'm like baba i won't punch you yeah i mean I, I don't fight but like let's just not be annoying to one another you get what i'm saying like let's just let's understand each other yeah yeah man queen cal calm down Biko. but what do you guys think i mean yeah hear this queen's gist is that why uh -huh? so you cook me for him you guys played in here but he doesn't want to carry to executive as a bit to hoh house he doesn't want to take you there so don't make him there's not he's not horrible he's not a wizard or a witch no he just did not want to take you there my darling i'm going to stop here because i want to make the video short yeah i'm going to just complete the other ones in the next video yeah and also oh my gosh oh my gosh guys the man's wife came to come and speak <laughs> Uh, oh, you know Omi will tell you how Omi think without fear of anything. Uh, but the thing is that what I don't do is I don't insult. I give it very constructive. Don't forget we have a target to get to 50k subscribers before the end of September. My love, please subscribe to my channel. Like, just subscribe now. Let help me get my target now. Ah, uh, do you know how I'll be happy? <laughs> you get there. I also have a vlog channel called Talk to Your Homie Vlog there. I show you guys my life and what I do. If you like all this day in your life, week in your life, you will love my vlog channel a lot. It's called Talk to Your Homie Vlog. I'll put a link down below guys so one episode of my vlog mm, mm. if you watch it you will love it just go and click it yeah and finally i have a channel especially for anybody who is just confused about life like if you've gone through depression i've gone through depression too if you've been broke i've been broke huh. honey i've been so broke oh. and i've gone through weakness in my life but i found myself again i found the answer to life and i have so much answers that god is like oh me it's not for you share it out so i want to help you come out of your own pit yeah and find yourself again and get better in life i share all my secrets literally everything from the word of god oh, eh, eh, on my channel called pennywise i'll put a link down below to one episode of pennywise if you watch it honey just watch it i promise you you'll be happy you did eh i love you with all my heart i really do love you thank you for watching my video